Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Now, I told you we was going to do some gaming stuff this year. I mean, I told you. I warned you. I warned you. Uh, we already finished up our review of Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Uh, basically, how this is working is I'm going through my backlog currently, and I'll also be touching some of the new games that come out this year, but I want to get my thoughts on them. It may not be a new game, but I want to talk about the games that I played that I thoroughly enjoyed or didn't enjoy and do a little bit of a review on them for every game that I actually beat. Uh, and hopefully if it's like any other year, I usually maybe 30 some games a year, maybe just depending. And you're probably, oh, that's a lot of games. I know. I know that's a lot of games I didn't play though. I mean, last year I didn't play as many as I usually do. So that's why I'm doing my backlog. Now I got this game. Uh, I, I didn't know anything about this game. Uh, prior to really playing it like I've seen it advertised uh, I seen some gameplay footage but I never really was looking forward to it until it was on sale um, I got it on sale during the Xbox um, winter sale and it was like I don't know I think it was like 23 bucks um, which is a fair price for this kind of game uh, this is a very uh, low budget title not not super low budget, but it's low budget enough where it didn't get hardly any marketing. Um, and I think that does this game sort of a disservice because it's actually really good. Um, I don't know if you guys ever played Dark Watch. It's an old uh, first-person shooter back in the Xbox three, well, Xbox and uh, PlayStation 2 days. It was uh, basically a vampire hunter slash demon killer first-person shooter uh, with you know, all kinds of crazy monsters and it had a Halo like uh gameplay style. Uh it was one of those games where they was trying to be the Halo killers and it was using the control scheme. Uh it was a very underrated title that I wish they would have get came back and at least remastered. But since it's not, we have this game. It's called Evil West. Uh it's very reminiscent of that title. So I would almost say this is a spiritual successor to Dark Watch. And I, I don't know, like I said, most of you guys probably ever heard of that game but if you have you know what i mean uh and if you, if you have be sure to play this game uh the combat wise is really good um for the most part it's fluid it works um everything just clicks it takes a while to get used to some of the weapon combinations especially when you're doing uh your melee attacks and you're doing the combos with your melee and your fully crazy arsenal of weapons that you get you get this really cool gauntlet that has some crazy electrical powers um, that makes uh, pretty good use of like taking enemies down. Uh, one thing I can say is that this game is not really a cakewalk. Uh, you would think, uh, playing it, you're probably thinking, oh, this is like Gears of War or something like that. Uh, very, I mean, for the most part, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, the game is very ugly. <laughs> it's not a pretty game. Uh, it does look like it's running off Unreal Engine 3. I don't know if it is or not. Never looked into it. But it does look like an Unreal Engine 3 title. Those really nasty, big, bulky textures and uh, shiny boys and all that stuff. Um, I mean, it's cool. It's basically a throwback shooter. And if, you know, you're like me and you want to relive your glory days of the Xbox 360, this is a good game to actually go back and play. It's fairly short. Maybe around seven to eight hours, uh, probably even quicker, depending lots of difficulty you're playing it on. Like me, I play every game on my I play, except for like a couple uh, different ones. I usually play like on easy because I have so many games I'm going through that I want to be able to finish them and move on to the next game. So, you know, lately where there's just been like 40 to 100 hour games like it come out, like it's hard for me to play more games when I'm stuck on doing this trend where every game's 100 hours and they're all open world. And this game is not open world, thank God. I don't think it would be very good if it was open world. Uh, what the game does, what it sets out to do, it does it really good. Um, uh, I didn't experience any uh, glitches or slowdowns in frame rate or anything like that. I am playing this on uh, Xbox Series X. Um, you can actually get this free right now on the PlayStation 5. If you do have PlayStation Plus, you get your free game. Evil West is on there. Um, I recommend this game. Um, not at full price, though. I think the sweet spot for this game is probably 20 bucks. Uh, I think that's fair. I think 20 Well, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give it more generous. Let's see, 30 bucks at most. Okay, I think it's worth that. Um, you know, 
you're having a lot of fun doing this. The, like I said, the combat's great. Um, the story is just goofy. Like, it's super goofy. Um, it's actually non-existent. It just reminds me of, like, Dark, Dark Watch. Not Dark Siders, but Dark Watch. It's basically that. There's a story there, but you're not really invested in it. Like, I, I wasn't invested in it. I thought it was quirky. Kind of reminded me of, like, a Robert Rodriguez-directed video game. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. He did, like, Planet Terror. Uh, see, what else has he done? He's done... He worked on Elite of Battle Angel, which we talked about that a while back. Uh, From Dust Till Dawn. Stuff like that. And Spy Kids. Which is weird. But ultimately, what you're getting here is a throwback game from the, you know, the 2000s. Uh, similar to something like Years of War or something like that. If it brings back that nostalgia of just popping in your Xbox 360, just playing some random game, just some random action game that was like a dime a dozen then. And you don't really see that now, uh, where everybody's basically chasing the Fortnite trend. Uh, this is very refreshing. It's a refreshing game. It adds a little bit of new stuff uh, to an old style of gaming that the ages has, for some reason, forgotten. Which that kind of reminds me of the next game we'll be talking about, and that's called Wanted Dead. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you soon.